Hey, this is Luke. Uh, I just wanted to create a quick video to talk about some of the conversations that I've been having already this year. It's been absolutely wonderful. And some of the things that we're talking about, I think it's really important to share to all of you because the way that I'm hearing some of these things is just so exciting for what the future is going to entail for the digital workforce. The need to have a workforce that's remote, that's staying at home, that's not necessarily in the same city, state, or country, and having the ability to communicate to that frontline staff is so important. So when ITASIC can merge that with the ability to do workflows and the ability to do training and have that communication, retentions are going up, the workforce is getting more skilled, and it's really creating a much better environment for the employee but giving so much analytics for the operators. I love being on sales calls because it gives me a chance to have the communications with that C-suite or that director of learning and development to see what's really happening in the actual workforce. Um, a lot of organizations can kind of try and predict trends, but we're, we're taking it a step further where I can go in and see how organizations are dealing with their workforce right now. Yeah, things are possible. Like, like things are possible. You can do things digitally now that you couldn't do five years ago. You couldn't do three years ago. You couldn't do two years ago. And it's amazing to see what the technology in the workplace is doing, not just ITASIS technology either. I mean, technology for, for businesses is just incredible. It's exciting to be part of that. It's exciting to be able to be on the frontier, like having these hundreds, if not thousands of conversations every single year with so many different organizations. You really get to kind of see the thought process changing in people's minds and thinking, geez, you know what, why don't we digitize that? Why don't we make it easier? Why don't we put it on cell phones? I want people to like going to work. Like, I like, I, I want people to not dread learning a new system. I want people to be able to show up, do their job, be happy, and then go home and sleep good at night, not be worried about the next thing that they're gonna do. And I think that's really where the workforce has to go. With the new age group that's coming up, it, it, it has to change, things have to change. Ever since COVID, the world's changed, the workforce has changed, and it's it's never going back. And the way technology is is, is, is now, as, as, as technology builders, we have to find ways to make it even better, and that's what we're doing.